first in a position-by-position -position series taking a look at the 2018 Texas A&M Aggies. Nick Starkel won the starting quarterback job at Texas A&M before last season before an injury took him out of the lineup until the tail end of the year. Who's back, Nick Starkel, Soph, Kellen Mond, Soph, Connor Bloomerick, Father. What to expect, no matter the coach, quarterback battles in the spring and summer have become the norm at A&M since 2014, the season after Johnny Manziel left early for the NFL. This time around, the tussle centers on Starkel and Mond, each in his second year of eligibility, in trying to impress first-year coach Jimbo Fisher. Stark owns a slight edge on Mond in terms of experience, considering Stark redshirted his first year at A&M, 2016, while Mond played right away as a true freshman last season. Each shined at times during Saturday's maroon and white game, with Stark throwing for more than twice as many yards, 373 to 180, but with Mond tossing three touchdown passes to Starkle's two. Stark also threw the spring game's lone interception. Starkle won the starting job last summer over Mond and then senior Hubnock, in what would turn out to be coach Kevin Sumlin's final season, but Starkle promptly broke his ankle in the Aggies' season opening loss at UCLA. Starkle returned sooner than expected and started four more games late in the season, and threw for 499 yards, second all-time in program history for a single game, in A&M's Belk Bowl loss to Wake Forest. Mond started the other eight games for the 7-6 Aggies, at times looking spectacular and at times looking like the true freshman that he was. Meantime Bloomerick is an intriguing addition to the battle. In limited time in the spring game, the Pearland High graduate completed three of four passes for 35 yards, with one of those completions a 20-yard touchdown pass to John Clark. Starkle and Bloomerick are pro-style passers, while Mond has shown he can run with the best of them when needed, a 79-yard sprint against Arkansas, for instance. So who best fits Fisher's system? The former Florida State coach said the one who moves the ball up and down the field is the one he'll like best. While Starkle would appear to hold the early lead, as Fisher said following the spring game, it's much too early for any conclusions at quarterback for the Aggies.